Neighbors keep blocking man's driveway with multi-cars. Learns an expensive lesson. In the heart of Bear Canyon, where the whisper of leaves and the soft chattering of neighbors once painted the soundscape, a subtle tension began to brew. This enclave of tranquility, known for its picturesque settings and a tapestry of close-knit relationships, faced an unwelcome disruption. Michael Turner, a resident whose roots in the community ran deep, found his daily rhythm jolted by the arrival of Jack Morris and his ambitious, albeit disruptive, car rental venture. Jack, with visions of entrepreneurial success, unwittingly sowed the seeds of discord on the quiet street where Michael resided. The serene ambiance that had first attracted Michael to Bear Canyon was gradually eroded by a constant parade of vehicles. These cars, symbols of Jack's burgeoning business, began to encroach upon more than just the street's visual aesthetic. Michael's driveway, a simple yet significant part of his home, became an unwitting casualty in Jack's quest for expansion. Cars of all shapes and sizes, each a testament to Jack's growing fleet, often found their resting place not in Jack's property, but blocking Michael's passage to the world beyond. At first, Michael approached the situation with a calmness born out of a desire to live harmoniously within his community. He believed in dialogue and understanding, hoping that a neighborly conversation could remind Jack of the unspoken bonds that tied the residents of Bear Canyon together. Michael, with a patience nurtured by years of community living, sought to bridge the gap between personal ambition and communal respect. However, as the days turned into weeks and the blockade of his driveway became a recurring challenge, Michael's reservoir of goodwill began to dwindle. The emotional toll was not just about the inconvenience of navigating around parked cars each morning, it was the erosion of the sense of peace and belonging that Bear Canyon had promised. The disruption pierced the heart of what it meant to be part of a community, turning simple departures and arrivals into a daily ordeal. The escalating situation strained the fabric of neighborly relations, casting a shadow over the once harmonious life in Bear Canyon. Michael, caught between the tranquility of the past and the turmoil of the present, faced a dilemma that tested the very essence of community living. As he pondered his next steps, the quiet streets of Bear Canyon waited in silent anticipation, a reminder of the balance between individual pursuits and the collective heartbeat of a neighborhood. On a morning that dawned with promise, Michael Turner found himself staring at an all-too-familiar sight, yet it struck a different chord this time. The usual quiet of his Bear Canyon neighborhood was overshadowed by a line of cars, each belonging to Jack Morris's burgeoning car rental business, carelessly parked and effectively barricading Michael's driveway. This blockade was not a novelty in Michael's life, but on this crucial morning, with an important meeting looming over him, the inconvenience morphed into a catalyst for change. The crisp air of that morning carried with it a tension that had been brewing beneath the surface of Michael's calm demeanor. Each attempt he had previously made to address the situation with Jack was met with a wave of excuses and dismissals, a clear sign of disregard, not just for Michael, but for the collective harmony of their once peaceful community. The cars, indifferent to the discord they represented, stood as steel barriers to Michael's obligations, reflecting Jack's insensitivity to the neighborhood's values. Feeling the weight of the moment, Michael approached Jack once more, hope mingling with frustration. His words carefully chosen sought to bridge the widening gap between neighborly courtesy and the pressing demands of personal ambition. However, the response was as predictable as the sunrise, a blend of evasion and apathy that served to deepen Michael's resolve rather than dampen his spirits. The repeated blockades, once mere obstacles in Michael's daily routine, now symbolized a profound disrespect for the norms that had bound the community together. It was a disregard that transcended the inconvenience of maneuvering around parked cars. It was a challenge to the very essence of communal living in Bear Canyon. In that moment, Michael's frustration crystallized into a determination to reclaim not only his right of way, but the respect and consideration that underpinned the neighborhood's identity. 
The blocked driveway, a battleground of principles, became the turning point for Michael. No longer could the issue be dismissed as a series of isolated incidents. It had become a testament to the erosion of community values, compelling Michael to take decisive action. As he stood before the array of vehicles, the early morning sun casting long shadows on the pavement, Michael realized that the path forward was one of confrontation, not for personal vindication, but for the restoration of respect and decency within Bear Canyon. The resolve that took root in his heart that morning would set the stage for a community's fight to preserve its cherished norms and tranquility. In the heart of Bear Canyon, a simmering dispute between Michael Turner and Jack Morris over a blocked driveway began to echo through the once tranquil neighborhood, striking a chord with the silent majority. The issue, initially perceived as a private grievance between two neighbors, quickly morphed into a communal cause, unearthing a myriad of suppressed frustrations among the residents. Michael's solitary battle against the encroachment of his driveway by Jack's fleet of rental cars ignited a flame of unity within the community, casting a new light on the importance of shared values and mutual respect. Whispers of discontent soon grew into a chorus of demands for change, as neighbors who had once watched from the sidelines found their voices in the collective outcry. The blocked driveway, a symbol of individual frustration, transformed into a public square of sorts, where stories of inconvenience and disregard for community well-being were shared and amplified. It was not just about Michael's right to unimpeded access to his own property. It had become a matter of principle, a question of how they, as a community, wished to live together. The decision to call the police, a measure born out of necessity rather than animosity, marked a significant escalation in the community's response. Michael, with the moral and physical support of his neighbors, sought to rectify the situation through legal means, signaling a turning point in the dispute. The sight of Jack's cars being towed away, though a moment of acute tension, was also a cathartic release for the neighborhood. It was a clear, tangible sign of the community's resolve, a demonstration that the collective will of Bear Canyon could not be easily dismissed. This act of solidarity, witnessed under the watchful eyes of the community, was a powerful testament to Bear Canyon's determination to preserve its quality of life. It was a moment that transcended the immediate issue at hand, planting the seeds for a broader movement toward reclaiming the neighborhood's autonomy. The towing of the cars was not just a logistical solution to an ongoing nuisance, it was a symbolic gesture, affirming the community's right to shape its own environment. As the dust settled and normalcy began to return to the streets of Bear Canyon, the residents stood a little closer, bound by a newfound appreciation for their collective strength. The dispute had not only highlighted the challenges of living in close quarters, but it also underscored the importance of standing together in the face of adversity. In the end, the struggle against the blocked driveway did more than just clear a path for Michael. It paved the way for a stronger, more unified Bear Canyon. The protracted battle between Michael Turner and his neighbors and Jack Morris over the intrusive presence of a car rental business in Bear Canyon reached its crescendo in the cool, sterile ambiance of a courtroom. This was not just a dispute over parking or business operations. It was a fight for the soul of a community, a battle that would determine the future character of Bear Canyon. As the gavel fell and the judge's decision was announced, a collective sigh of relief swept through the courtroom. The mandate for Jack to relocate his business away from the residential heart of Bear Canyon was more than a legal victory. It was a vindication of the community's right to determine its own destiny. The legal confrontation had not gone unnoticed. Local media, drawn to the drama of a neighborhood standing up against what they saw as an encroachment on their way of life, shone a spotlight on the dispute. Reporters and cameras had descended on Bear Canyon, turning its quiet streets into the backdrop for a larger narrative about community values, residential rights, and the delicate balance between commerce and quality of life. Through this exposure, Bear Canyon became a symbol of grassroots resilience, its story resonating with others facing similar challenges. 
In the aftermath, as the media circus dwindled and the last of the rental cars were removed from Michael's driveway, a profound sense of accomplishment settled over the neighborhood. The ordeal had forged stronger bonds among the residents, who had stood shoulder to shoulder in defense of their collective peace. It was a testament to the power of unity in confronting adversity, a lesson in the efficacy of communal action over individual suffering. Jack, on the other hand, had learned a costly lesson in respect and the importance of adhering to the communal codes that govern life in tight-knit neighborhoods like Bear Canyon. His ambitions, while valid, had clashed with the foundational principles of neighborhood coexistence, resulting in a costly reevaluation of his business model and location. For Michael and his neighbors, the resolution of the conflict was a reaffirmation of their commitment to preserving the tranquility and harmony that had defined Bear Canyon for years. The struggle had underscored a crucial community ethos that the quality of life within their neighborhood was a collective responsibility to be defended and cherished. The experience, while challenging, had left an indelible mark on the community, a reminder of their strength when united in a common cause. It was a clear message that Bear Canyon would not easily yield its character, ensuring that future disputes would find a community ready and willing to stand up for its values and way of life.